where we will first see the match between Burakoshi and Chaka, which you can already see on stage. They are already ready. Nice. That's the Tsuri boys. If you go to the Tsuri weekly, you know we don't have that much time. We gotta finish before 12. You gotta be ready when your set starts. Chaka and Burakoshi, both players that regularly attend the Tsuri weekly. So let's go, my boys. They're ready. They're starting. Here we go. Winners semi-finals. One of those players is going to be in winners finals. What a crazy story it would be if it's Burakoshi. And um, if it's Chaka, we're probably going to see Chaka versus Destiny again, which would be just as crazy because we see it every time. And Chaka is just trying to get those wins. And Destiny is trying to deny it every time. So it's a win-win situation for me. I'd love to see both players. I'd love to see another rematch. Oh my god, the double dip from Chaka. Getting that first stock. Good shit to him. The double down air. No fair coming out from Burakoshi after that uh, nair. Of course, that uh, no fair connect. Uh, of course, that didn't connect because I think he hit with the strong hit of his nair, which doesn't combo as well. He combos better at low percent. Oh, -hoo -hoo, Chaka knew. He didn't hit it, but he knew. You already know he knew. And that's another stock for Chaka. Making it look like every other Tsuri weekly, just beating everyone. Burakoshi, of course, looking for the down tilt. Trying to find the down tilt to up smash or a just a raw up smash. Uh, denying the landing for Chaka, finally gets the first stock, but... This is looking heavily like Chaka's game, unless something unfortunate happens. Burakoshi tried to edge guard by hitting the balloons, only got one and had to regrab the ledge. And of course, that's a free down air for Chaka. We got a confident two stock for Chaka, looking like just every other day. Business as usual in Tsuri. Chaka beating up people without breaking a sweat. Maybe Burakoshi's uh, miracle runs gonna miracle winner runs gonna have an ending here. So far, this game one definitely looked like it, and this looked hella hard for Burakoshi. Um, yeah, I don't know, man. And of course, even if Burakoshi lo loses, this is top eight. This is actually top six already. It's not gonna get any easier. So if he loses here, he will have to fight Kepler, one of Switzerland's finest who dropped to Rafi in the winner's bracket. Same situation, ledge re-grab because Burakoshi went for the ledge guard. This time he makes it back, finally. But yeah, it's kind of starting similarly to the first game and... It doesn't really look like... I'm just gonna be brutally honest. It doesn't look, it doesn't look like Burakoshi has the answer to breaking into Chaka's fortress. Oh, good, good uh, counter there. Of course, um, I didn't think about that so far. You can, of course, counter the Lloyd rocket. No double jump on Burakoshi. Nice down there to recover, but he gets hit by the Nair as he jumps. I said it before, I'm going to say it again. He jumps way too often from ledge. He jumps all the time. Um, because, of course, it's probably Greninja's best option from ledge. But he's just... The higher you get in bracket, the more often you're going to get punished for that. <clears throat> like, early in bracket, you want to pick the good option. Because it's a good option. And then later in bracket, you don't really want to pick it. Because, um... Good option is going to be the one that's expected. And so it was for Chaka, who is already <laughs> almost at even percent here on the second stock. Rakoshi trying to find the kill here, but... Chaka making it hard, finally fights his way back to center stage. 
Can he land? Yeah, with a B reverse, neutral B. Kind of using it similarly to Snake when he uses his grenades. <coughs> yeah, dashing um, to getting hit by the fishing rod um, at such close range. Of course, gonna lead to an F smash, but Chaka doesn't even seem phased. He doesn't seem like he gives a solitary shit. Uh, he just gets his fishing rod out again, throws Burakushi up, and gets the second star. So yeah, kind of... This is not that exciting of a match here for me, because this is honestly what I see every other Tsuri quickly. This Burak, uh, Chaka beating up people that don't mean him any harm. He's just a mean guy. He's such a mean guy. And he's not stopping. Rokoshi fighting for his dear life. Trying to get something going, but this is it. Another game with a stage spike. We are up 2-0 for Chaka with a double two-star. And I see no signs of uh, Rokoshi turning this around. If I'm being completely, fully honest. I feel like this is a 3-0 and a handshake. I feel like Chaka is already our first entrant into winners finals. Pokemon Stadium, the stage pick for our third game. We start off by Chaka getting a grab, <laughs> getting a big conversion. 53, 60%. Oh my god. Yeah, 70% already again. Jab, 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 up tilt, no back air afterwards, but... Yeah, I don't know, man. I don't know. This feels like it's kind of done here. If Burakushi doesn't pull some miraculous comeback type of stuff, nice. Good idea by Burakoshi, but he only got that down air. He got no conversion afterwards. Gets back out again, off stage again. We have a little bit more even percent here, but. Okay, down tilt forward there. Ooh! Brave, brave, brave. But he just gets punished for it, you see? He's going for a really cool edge guard, trying to do some shit, get some shit going, but all that happens is just he gets punished. Nice. F throw, holy crap, that F throw killed. 140 with rage. Yeah, Greninja is so funny actually because he's got no good kill throw, but three bad kill throws. Like, every throw except um, down throw can kill for Greninja, but none of them do it well. Yeah, for the first time now, Burakoshi in a lead. <laughs> but how will he, will he make that lead go pro if that's just what happens? He's just getting walled out so hard. Gets grabbed, back, air doesn't, yeah, back throw doesn't kill. Um, not across the full stage. Okay, I'm um, just thinking about the trap. How would he have gotten away from that? Maybe jump? Jump, get up attack, something like that. I have no idea. Yeah, he jumps too much at ledge. He jumps every time. He jumps every time. Oi! Get just the landing with the F smash and... um. From a lead for Burakushi, we're going into a full stock lead for Chaka. One more stock, and this is it for Burakushi's miracle run here at this tournament. The Wunderküte Smash. Oh my god. Chaka is having a field day here. He's trying to. He's like, oh, I got this new trap I'm thinking about. Um, what do you feel, Barakashi? You want to go into it? You want to show me how it works? If it works?
Okay, we got another dash attack to forward there. Every now and then, um, Burakashi is showing some signs of life, but it just... It never feels like it's enough. <laughs> and then he gets hit all the time. Oh my god, bad DI the there. Still alive for Burakashi at 98%. This might be, yeah, we got some not optimal DI on that. And another two stock, the triple two stock. And the 3-0 for Chaka.